Hello guys, welcome to algorithms made easy. Today we will be discussing the question burst balloons. In this question we are given n balloons indexed from 0 to n minus 1. Each balloon is painted with a number on it represented by array num. We are asked to burst all the balloons. If we burst the balloon i, we will get num of left into num of i into num of right coins. Here left and right are adjacent indices of i. After the burst, the left and right then becomes adjacent. We need to find the maximum number of coins that we can collect by bursting the balloons wisely. In the given example, it is shown that we have 3, 1, 5, 8 balloons. So we first burst the first balloon, which gives us 3 into 1 into 5 coins. Then we burst the second balloon and it gives 3 into 5 into 8 and so on. So we get the result at 167. We will see how we got this result and how we can solve this problem. We are given this input array and as we know we can assume that there are two more values at the each end of the array 1 1 which we call as padding. These values are important. We are considering these values so that we do not need to take care of the overflow or any of those conditions where we are calculating the value for the end indexes. We will be using a 2D array of the size n plus 2 by n plus 2 where n is the size of the initial array. We'll focus on that later and we'll first try to see how we can solve this problem. So suppose we have a balloon 3 which we will need to burst. Now this balloon when burst will give us a result which will be equals to 1 into 3 into 1. And similarly if we burst the balloon 1 it will give us the result of 3 into 1 into 5. Now what if there are two balloons that is 3 comma 1 when there are three balloons that we need to consider we'll start if we can burst this third balloon last if we burst this third balloon last what happens is there are certain balloons previous to this value and there are balloons next to this value now previous to this three there are no balloons but after 3 there is one balloon with the value 1. Now when we burst this last balloon the answer of it will be value before this that is 1 value of this particular balloon that is 3 and the value after the next which is 5. So the product of these three becomes the balloon value we get when this last balloon is burst. Now in the same range if we burst the balloon with value 1 last the previous will be balloon with value 3 next will be nothing as there are no values after this value and the when this last balloon burst the value of it will be 1 into 1 into 5 so let's see if we burst the balloon with value 3 first we have a start index starting with 3 and end index start ending at 1 now this is the range in which we need to find the value of each balloon bursting last and then we need to find the maximum out of these value which will become the value of this particular range. The value previous is nothing but the value from the start till the balloon before the last balloon. If the last balloon to be burst is at index k, the value of previous will be nothing but value at start comma k minus 1. What this value represent is, if we talk in terms of this array, it is nothing but dp of start k minus 1, which it represent what value we will get if we burst all the balloons in this range. The maximum answer of that, that is dp of start by k minus 1. Similarly, the next will be the balloons from the next balloon to the last till the end, which is the value at dp of k plus 1 till the end that is except this last balloon after all these balloons till the end what value we can get if we burst all those balloons now we have burst all the balloons previous to this k value and after this k value and now only remains to burst this last balloon and when we burst this last balloon we need to find its value now this value is nothing but the value previous to this range that is 1 and the value after this range that is 5 which is end plus 1. So now the value of the last balloon burst will be nothing 
but the value of start minus 1 into value of k into value of end plus 1. These three values form the combination in which we have the answer of what will happen if we burst all the balloons between this range of start and end. Now, if we see, if we have only one length and we burst the balloon 3, it will give us the answer 1 into 3 into 1 as there is no range and no previous or next value. So, we fill this value into our array at 1, 1 and similarly we fill all the values for length 1. Now, we will see the calculation for length 2 and it will make it much more clear. If we have a start and end, start as 1, end as 2, we will be filling at a position of 1, 2 which is shown in orange color. Each value has been depicted with a color that the header is of. The dp of start in k minus 1 is 0. We find the value of start minus 1 into value of k into value of end plus 1 which is 1 into 3 into 5 that we discussed. And then we find dp of k plus 1 end which is 15 and the sum comes out to be 30. So we put that sum into this value. Now we move our k to the next value finding what will be the answer if we burst the balloon with value 1 last. In that case the answer comes out to be 8 which is less than what is already the value of 1 comma 2. So we do not update this value and 30 remains intact. Here is one more example. We have start as 2 and end as 3. So we will be filling at position 2 comma 3. When we calculate this value for k equals to 2 that is bursting the balloon with value 1 last we get 64 as a sum and when we burst the balloon 5 last we get the value is 135 as the maximum of the 2 is 135 we place that value into the array. Going by the same logic, when we fill the whole of the matrix, at last we reach point where the start is 1 and end is 4 and traversed all the scenario, we'll get the value in the column 1, 4 which shows what will be the result if we burst all the balloons in the range of 1, 4 which is nothing but our answer which is 167 and that's how we get our answer. Now this whole concept will be more clear to you when we code this but talking about this briefly I can say that we are iterating over all the length starting from length 1 till the length of the array which is n in this case 4 so we are iterating from 1 to 4 now we need to find the value for each of the range that is left and right bursting each of the balloons in those range as last and finding the answer and finding the maximum of that answer. So let's see how we can code this. As discussed we need to first increase the length of the array given to us by 2 so that we can pad the values 1 1 at both of the ends. So in order to do so So this will create a padded array with length n plus 2. Now we need to create a dp array. We discussed that we need to iterate over all the length from 1 to n. So from length 1 to n minus 1. So we'll have a loop starting length from 1 till n minus 1. Now we need to have a pointer for the start of the range. The start of the range will start from 1 and go till n minus length minus 1 or we can say n minus n length. Whatever we are writing uh, after this 2 it is uh, exclusive not inclusive. So we will have a for loop wherein the start will be started from 1 and it will reach till it is n minus length and we incremented. Now we need to find the end of this range. The end will be nothing but the start plus whatever length it is and then to make it zero based index we do minus one. Now as we know the start of the range and the end of the range we need to iterate over it 
and find the value if we burst that particular balloon at the very end. What will be his answer and take the maximum of all and put that into the value of start and end. We'll have a integer k that we discussed that will be starting from the start and going all the way till the end and we increment it. We need to put the value into start and end which will be nothing but the max of the current value and now here comes the formula that we discussed earlier we need to first take into consideration the previous value which was nothing but dp of start and k minus 1 then we need to consider the current balloon value which is value at start minus 1 into the value at k into the value at end plus 1. Once this is done, the final value that remains is the value at k plus 1 and end. Once all this is done, at the end, the result will be at the position of dp of 1 comma n minus 2 as we see in the example itself. So when we run this code, it gives the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n cube as we are iterating over n three times. The space complexity is O of n square as we are using a DP array of size n cross n. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.